hi guys if you would like to see how i achieved this silky blowout without heat keep watching so i'm going to show you quickly what i did with my african treading i'm working on hair that is freshly washed and deep conditioned and i'm going to start by doing my loc method starting with my liquid which is my ayurvedic spritz then i'm going to follow up with my kinky curly knot today and then after that i'm going to be adding my oil and making sure that i put all of this on my hair especially my ends and my scalp the oil i need to make sure i put the oil on my scalp and then i'm going to end with my jane carter nourish and shine which is a mixture of mango and shea butter then i'm going to detangle properly and make sure that i'm working with properly detangled and moisturized hair I learned this from my girl Lumi where um, I actually braid the first two inches of my hair just to ensure that my roots are actually stretched but without the tension of the treading so that way I'm not really applying so much tension to my scalp to, um, which causes breakage of course. So I just continue to thread the length of my hair and I make sure that I make the thread as close as possible because um, that way I can get the most stretch out of this um, African th threading. Um, and when I get to the end, I make sure that I detangle it a bit more and then I also fold my ends so my ends are not actually tucked away and not just dangling um, to the wind, basically. So yeah. So that's it guys, that's basically all I did. I think in the end I had about 14 sections in total. Thank you.